Okay, guys, um, what we're going to do now is we'll go ahead and texture this um, butterfly and make a little motion path. We could have it fly around the, the screen, and um, that's about it. If we have time, maybe I'll batch render it. We'll see. Okay, uh, so let's go ahead and texture it first. Go ahead and select the wing. Assign new material. Let's do a Lambert color. File. Um, you're gonna actually gonna use the file in my public samples called uh, wing wing texture. Mine's saved right here on my desktop. So now where is it? There's two of them. Let's see how this one looks. Hit six so you could see it. And just go to uh, create UVs. Make sure you're in your polygons menu. Go to create UVs, planner map, Y axis, and project. Okay, now we just have to flip it. So go to Edit UVs, Flip, Option, Horizontal. Okay, that looks cool. I uh, left a little bit off down here. I could go to Edit UVs, UV Texture Editor, and I could look for the part up here. So I'm going to go to right click in this window, UVs, highlight them. Click W on my keyboard and bring this down. You see how it stretches this out a bit? Done. That's all we had to do. Okay. Now we're going to go here. Right click. Assign existing material. Number two. We have to do the same thing. So create UVs, planner mapping, project. It's going to make that a little bit longer. Looks kind of cool. Don't worry about the underneath. Is that's good. Now just make the body. Uh, Sign new material. Fong. Okay, that's cool. All right, that works. Um, what we're going to do now is we're actually going to uh, make the wings flap forever. First thing I want you to do is go to here and put. I don't know. Put like 50 frames. You can put more. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, now go to here and select this tool. Open up your, your click on this button right here to open up your channel box. And what we're going to do in frame one is we're simply going to rotate this down a bit. Okay. And then you could right click on rotate Z and click key selected, or just simply you could hit S. Now we're going to go over to frame three. Rotate it up, and then hit S on your keyboard. Okay, that's good. We're going to do the same thing with this one. Rotate it down. Hit S. Go to frame 3. Rotate it up. And then hit S. Let's see. Let's see. I don't know how much of this got, got caught here. Okay, so hopefully the video caught everything. And then just hit S. So now both sides are flapping. That was easy. Now it stops flapping here. How do we get it to continue to flap forever? That's, that's the question of the day. It's very simple. You click on the wing, and you go to Window, Animation Editors, Graph Editor. This blue line represents the uh, Rotate Z. You don't have to click on that. You just click on the wing. Just go to um, Curves, Post Infinity, Cycle. That's all you have to do. And watch this. La, 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 la. Wings goes forever. Select the other wing. And go to curves, post infinity, cycle. And close off that window. It's a little too fast, so I'm going to go to this button right here next to the key. And I'm going to do my playback speed at real time. Let's see how this looks. It's fast. I probably should have made the wings like, instead of frames one and three, like one and six. It's a little bit fast. We could sort of fix this if we slowed the time down, but. I don't feel like it. Um, 
There's a way we could fix this. Go to Window, Animation Editor, Graph Editor. Okay. And all we're going to do here is we're going to take this thing. See how it says 3? This is for the uh, right wing. Wing right. We're going to highlight this and just put in 6. Just moves it over. It'll, it'll slow it down. Go to this one and highlight this. And put in six. See they're reversed? It's because they're facing different directions. Let's see how this looks. That looks pretty good. Okay, beautiful. Alrighty, now what we're going to do is we're going to make a little motion path. This is kind of the, the trickery, if you will. That was actually kind of cool too. Go to Create CV Curve Tool. Hit Spacebar. Click Maya and go to top view. And I'm just going to create a little path here for my, for my uh, butterfly. Do, 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 do. So I can do a little, maybe loop around or something. Try not to make it too sharp so the turns look good. Okay. So this is all flat, so I might want to go to right click, control vertex. I might want to go to front view. That's, I'm doing that with spacebar, clicking Maya, front view. Go to control vertex. You could highlight some of these. I'll bring them up. It's kind of, this part is your, your license to be a little artistic here. Whatever you want to do. So make sure you grab them all like that. Grab some here maybe. Bring these up. Bring these guys up. It's a pretty big curve, so. So now we have kind of this 3D, you know, it's kind of windy curve. It's curving in a couple different directions. This looks nice. Let's go to your window outliner. Select your butterfly. Hold down shift or control, actually, and select your curve. And then make sure right here you're in your animations menu. What we're going to do is we're going to go to animate motion path attached to motion path. So it's going to attach the group, the butterfly group, to the motion path. Right? Um, what we're going to do is, where it says up access, you want to make sure the up access <clears throat> is whatever this letter is. Why? The front access is whatever's in front of this bug. So in, in our case, it's a Z. Okay? Time slider, uh, it'll go from 1 to, if you do time slider, it'll go from 1 to 50. We could do like start or start end. You could put in the frames you want to start end. We want to do the whole thing. Click attach. And let's see what this looks like. See how it looks kind of kind of funky here? Didn't do it right. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight this. I'm going to highlight this thing. You're going to go to your attribute editor. And you're going to go to where it says motion path 1. See where it says front access? I'm going to try selecting Y. Nope. How about Z? How about up access? There we go. This is some guesswork. Uh, it's still looking weird. Okay, there we go. So for me, the front access was Z. Yeah, that's right. And the up access was Y. That's weird. That's kind of what I had, but it didn't, didn't work there. All right, that's it. So if you hit play, a nice little animation. Okay, see, we have a nice little animation. Let's go ahead and stop this. If you were to render this out, which is kind of neat, You'll just see it flying around. You don't see the, uh, you don't see the, um, what do you call it, the path. Now, if you want, you can make a little flower there and have the thing stop. That's up to you. You could build a little world around this. You know, I'm not going to do all that. I just want you to understand, A, uh, why you make the group, because you're attaching the group, right, to the motion path. Um, that would be more like B. A, how to take the uh, wings and 
move their pivot points properly, how to do your uh, infinite curve to make the thing flap, and um, how to attach it to a curve. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it easy. And um, I'm going to give you some assignments next where you're going to use these concepts to um, create some animations on your own.